da 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 Gang, gang, yeah. gang, roll up, hey, yeah, and I'm um, living my life like this, living my life like this, why you act up, you ain't rap like this, like this. gotta go flash my wrist, oh. This is the exact intro you wanted, right? Yeah, this is the brand new one. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on the show today, Miss Erica Hackmiller. We're here at 11.30, you ready to go? <laughs> well, they were supposed to be here at 11. I don't know, it's like 11.02. So I guess I'll just go home, like, wow. So disrespectful of my time, truly. Like, I'm a very busy lady. I don't have time to just sit out here and wait for people to show up at restaurants, you know? I guess this is a good time to talk about my folliculitis. We weren't supposed to meet till 11.30 and 30 minutes early, so that one was my bad. I went back home, you know? I'm gonna drink some iced coffee, wait around. Maybe I'll change clothes or something? I don't know, I feel like this is gonna be too fancy and they're gonna show up in like, bro-y t-shirts or something. I changed into shorts, I put a purple thing on top of a black tank top. Sean Ely just texted me, how did you even get my number? Apparently he's there. So, here we go. Number six with cheese, take two. Good to see you. So good to see you. Oh so good to see you. I know, it's been forever since I've seen you. How are you? I'm good, how are you? How are you? So you live like around the corner from here, right? Yeah, like right down the street. So this is Andersonville, this is Jerry's. I realized once we walked up, I've been here before. Oh really? And it was great. You get drunk. Well, it was like huh. a craft beer like uh, event huh. I went to. She's no stranger to getting drunk, so I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear, <laughs> I don't want to hear uh, that. That might be the yeah. last time we saw each other. <laughs> Put this under That's you. a good idea. <laughs> um, the Ansel A. Have you guys ever seen this? What is, what's the deal with this? And people will know. Sir Kensington? Sir Kensington? Yes. Sir Kensington? Sounds too fancy for me. It's not. Is it a cat food? What is it? It's, I think it's based out of Wisconsin. It's okay. like, just like a condiment brand, and it's this dude with a mustache, and it's just like, Sir Kensington's ketchup's and mustard. Oh, that sounds great. And it's really good. <laughs> Guys. Food is here. Three Ansel A sandwiches from Jerry's in Andersonville with the triple threat Erica Hackmiller on the show today. You can figure out what those three things are. Acquired jump cut. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Erica, here's a tray for you to use in the car. Wow. So you don't have a steering wheel. Look, I'm on a high Check chair. Hell yeah. You see this? <laughs> wow. Somebody sent me one, but I don't have the driver's ed card. Yeah, you don't this, got that. You shouldn't, this shouldn't exist. You I know. know what I mean? Like, you yeah, should be driving. It's really dangerous. <laughs> I look it's like you really want to cut terrifying. yourself off like, on it. Oh, man. It's not a safe, it's not a safe thing Yikes. to have. Yeah. I drive with it on too. While I drive you're eating? Any, yeah, sometimes. If I'm hungry enough. Wow. Man, <laughs> I'm so sorry you're busy. Not only on straight roads. I cannot do trains. <laughs> For those of you wondering why I uh, am in the back seat today, somebody like Erica Hackmiller deserves the front seat. <gasps> you know what? Quite the honor. I've only done this with one other person. Wow, who? And it's the only other person that I feel like rivals your level of amazingness. Oh, God. Corey's mom. That's right. Today, I'm in the back seat because we have a very special guest. Eat it, Toledo. It's always good. Oh, that was <laughs> great. That was a really good one. Oh, <laughs> cool. All right. So, like, we're not actually in competition. <laughs> Such an actor. <laughs> Napkin. Thank you. Napkin. Thank you. This is your food moment. Open it. Show everybody wow. what they're having from Jerry's. Hello, everyone. Wow. This is the to-go container from Jerry's. It looks like it is pretty environmentally friendly. <laughs> Um, except for this lid. Yikes, turtles. Okay, so we're gonna open it. <laughs> Yikes, turtle. <laughs> wow, I could have gotten two sides. I chose to just do a double here on the mac and cheese. Ooh. I really appreciate that. Because when you know what you want, you know what you want. You know? Yeah. This here is an Ansel A. All of all of the sandwiches at Jerry's are random names, and I don't know what they mean. And I love them. Makes it kind of hard to remember which sandwich you like. <laughs> you know? Because, <laughs> like, what's an Ansel A? I don't know. I'm gonna be next, sir. Oh, brother. Turtles! <laughs> the turtles! <laughs> Turtles. So wow, this Whoa. looks hot, juicy, and delicious. Whoa. Whoa. What do we got on there? I'm gonna guess and yeah. say we've got some cheese, some pickles, some chicken, some onions, some mystery, like That's chicken that avocado. It's gotta be avocado. Well, I'm not a professional. <laughs> <laughs> and some like chipotle mayo here. That's pretty delicious. Ooh. Dude, you killed this order. 
Yeah. Right? This was perfect. Thank this you. Oh my tasty, God. tasty. Hell yeah. You excited yes! about this? <laughs> God, I'm so cute. And humble. <laughs> All right, guys, you ready? Yeah. Hit me with the name of this again. I'm like 80% sure this is the Ansel A. <laughs> yeah, All right, guys, cheers. Erica Hackman on the show today. Yeah. Cheers. cheers. <laughs> Let's get into this. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a lot to bite to, and I love it. Wow, the sauce mm -hmm. mixing with the chicken mm -hmm. right away. Mm -hmm. Dude, avocado and chicken. I know. So good. Mm -hmm. The fried chicken is not too fried where it breaks the bread. It's That'll very happen soft. sometimes. Yeah, mm. it's very soft. Mm. Mm. I guess that is avocado, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're pros. No big deal. <laughs> So did you guys know each other before the conservatory? Mm -hmm. Yes. Erica and I acted in a lot of shows together in you Chicago over the, over the past like four or five years. Mm -hmm. And we haven't seen each other in a while. So this is amazing and you're leaving, we'll get into that. But how did we meet? We met through a writing six. Oh, it was. Mm. So we got cast in the same show. The writers and the director cast us both. Mm -hmm. We met, and then we ended up just getting put on the same shows for like years. Yeah, then we it was that same writing team. They liked us both, mm -hmm. and they put us in another show. Said we are now one inside of the band, so I took it to heart and I glued that finger to my hand. Funeral party. Funeral party. Yeah. The first one was, was that one with the uh, little dog, the dog coffin. Yeah, Schmoon. Mm. Schmoon yeah, that was the writing group. I used that. I first off, I saw that yeah. show. Uh -huh. Oh, you did. I went to that show, and I used that little tiny dog coffin in a sketch that I that I wrote. You did. Yeah. It was in his trunk. Wow. Mm -hmm. That coffin may have been cast in more shows than I have. Oh my god. <laughs> By the time this video comes out, Erica will be in sunny California. Oh yeah, baby. Whoa. So tell the people, I love you a lot, and you're one of the most talented people, and I know accepting compliments sucks. Ugh, I'm so but uncomfortable. your Twitter game, by the way, <laughs> Erica so from dumb. Maine. Follow it, Erica from Maine, Erica with a K. Why did you just one day decide, hey, I'm gonna do Twitter and be like the funniest account Truly, on the damn website? I don't, I think it was like, when, you know when people are like, I guess I'll start a podcast. For sure, yeah. I've been that person. Like, <laughs> that was my moment where I was like, man, I'm sure not succeeding in any other medium. I guess I'll give this a try. <laughs> <laughs> Which is such BS. Yeah, that's so BS. Um, you are being successful in other media. Yeah. We mm -hmm. have. Oh, shucks. But yeah, no, I love Twitter. I love it so much. I'm thinking about it all the time. So, also a phenomenal writer, and you you got this gig. You're going to California. Tell us what the gig is and what you're going to be doing. Yeah, so I'm going to be interning at Gulfstream Pictures, which is a production company that works solely with Warner Brothers. So, I'll be on the Warner Brothers lot in Burbank. Small company. If I don't know if you've heard of Warner Brothers, uh, <laughs> look it up. And I'll be doing like script coverage and development work, and in theory, I get to go to pitch meetings like oh that would be really God. freaking cool um yeah i'll just be derping in la and hoping i meet someone derping in la who can help me out i don't know <laughs> derping derping I'll just be derping around you know mm -hmm. so we did improv and sketch together mm -hmm. i've seen you do musical theater i ain't ran in love my name is i'm red what kind of name is that i made it up from nothing <laughs> <laughs> One that of my show. favorite things in the world. I love that show so much. R.I.P. MCL. Yep. I still am sad Truly. about it when I walk around. Yeah. I know, it's a yoga I, studio It makes now. me hate <laughs> yoga. <laughs> like, I'm cool with yoga, <laughs> but I walk past that and I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> like, I, because I loved MCL. It's my, like, favorite yeah. place to take people to. Oh, it was yeah. so cool. Ayn Rand Love was amazing. She was the star of the show. I played Ayn Rand. Star of the musical. That musical <laughs> won. I played Ayn Rand. <laughs> <laughs> she liked to know what the star of the show would be, and it's Ayn Rand. Stop boring us with your Bolsheviks. You're the third wheel. Third wheel of what? I don't know, a bicycle. Without me, bike falls over, three wheels that would not have it. <laughs> you got footage of that? Not only do I have footage of it, they hired me oh, to shoot yeah. the video. Yeah. So yeah. some, I have a very good tie you to You got some show. archival stuff. Mm -hmm. I really do. I interviewed the cast. Oh, I man. shot oh, my God. Uh, footage of the show on two different nights yeah. and stitched it all together. Oh my God. Because they were trying to put it up on an even bigger scale. Mm -hmm. Right. Which is a very tough, ridiculous yeah. thing to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was super fun, and I had a really kind of personal love for that show. Me too. I ended up seeing it great. three full times. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. did. Holy crap. Incredible. So, Erica, what year did you move to Chicago? Finished college in 2014. I did like a touring children's theater where I was in um, Oregon, Washington, and British Columbia. Oh, you're already just cruising out to LA? You're just keeping the <laughs> juice up going? I, be I truly will be back because I got to be Professor Hack Miller in the fall. Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, can we just talk about how you had your plate that you have? You're just like, yo, all of it on this thing right now. I want to be. You're, you're constantly doing pilot readings. I feel like at your apartment. Or right. Something. You're like. <laughs> you're we doing, do rehearse in my you're apartment. You're doing shows all the time. You're going for your masters. You're mm. teaching. 
Is this all true? This is all true. <laughs> That's a is lot. that the triple threat? Teacher, I was thinking, writer, I was actor. Thinking, mine was actor, writer, singer. But there's probably more. Oh yeah, yeah. you are. Bro, you do have a beautiful ass voice. Remember you probably when you hate hearing that. Pessimist and we did a video I together. I do remember that. I was thinking about that. Oh, yeah, I yeah. can use a clip. <laughs> Wake up in the morning feeling nope. like P. Next. Diddy. Do you have anything else in your rap? So shut up and draw the line while I redefine how this all will be mine. I have a dream. It's got a full head of steam. How was that? That was just my opening part. Before the chorus comes and I hit all those great notes. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, and I didn't realize you were gonna be like a character. <laughs> <laughs> There's a place on Ocean Avenue where we used to sit and- That was fun. Completely irrelevant to a theater audition though. They don't want to hear yellow card? No, they certainly don't. And then I was like, oh no, he's being crazy oh, and yeah. I just need right. to rein it in. Right. There's only been Learned. like three times in my life that I've been around Sean where he wasn't being a character. <laughs> right. I feel like me. every now yeah. and again he'll be like grumpy about something. I'll be like, oh, is that the real one? Was that the real Sean? You, Sean? Yeah. And then I'll be like, hey! I'm it's like, really, oh. I started to realize that like that is my personality though. Like it's yeah. just, that's my comfort level as being goofy. When I have to be serious, I feel like I'm playing a character. Yeah. <laughs> when do you have to be serious? Do you have to be serious often? Just sometimes in life. Yeah. To, like every <laughs> once in a while. When he yells at the UPS people or yeah. USPS, oh. I should say. Yeah. He's got some mail issues. There's some issues. I'm so sorry. Uh, with residual checks. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah. Anytime I get an opportunity to get residual checks, send them my way too. Yeah, legally they have to. Yeah, yeah. Also, Chicago PD, I could use more residual checks. <laughs> hey. more. Wait, did you have a, like a bit part on there? Oh, I had two lines. Shut yeah, up. I had speaking parts. Like I run out. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I'll tell you the lines because I basically have them engraved. Of in my course, brain. of course. And it's, I run out of the house. My ex husband is being like thrown around by the cops. Oh my gosh. And my character's name is Kathy. You have no way of knowing this. <laughs> of, course, of course you're a cat. I know. I was like, cool. Uh, I'm a mom of a nine year old. <laughs> Somehow that happened. My husband's like 40. I didn't ask any yeah. questions. And I come out and I'm like, what's going on? And then I run down the stairs to my husband whose name is Ruben. And I'm like, Ruben, what's happening? Dude, essentially, don't don't even need and to I take her it. classes. <laughs> and Western, boom, you just got a free lesson. There it is. There it is. I, re I touched my hair. I was like, oh, you know, like really distraught. Did you, uh, <laughs> did you get off book pretty quickly? Yes, but I was still terrified the whole time. Yeah, it would oh be they closed down a whole street. I Did was you like, try oh, doing yeah. it in like kind of different tones and stuff too? What is happening? Yeah, like Ruben, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like uh, it's probably gonna be like another five minutes or so. We're filming a weird thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least they didn't ask us for drugs. We had a guy ask us for LSD one time. Whoa! Over. What's up? I don't, dude. Do what's up? He wants acid. Oh no, sorry, I got none, brother. Sorry, man. Sean goes, what? Oh, you're like, could go either way. Oh, no, no, man. Fresh out. Yeah, before we get out of here. Oh, I thought you were going to shout out to the Bunkerverse. <laughs> it's a shout out, it's a shout out, it's a shout out. <laughs> this is a special shout out for an Instagram account that we honestly all think you should follow. If you're into being old, if you like golf, <laughs> if you like You're dogs, if you think my dad has a career in comedy. This is my fire pit. <laughs> These are my berries. <laughs> this is my wood. This is the sweat of a real man. <laughs> Off camera yeah. before this started, Sean was just Gushing. He's the best. Over Erica's dad. He's like, man, oh, dude, uh, that guy. Yeah. My hero. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> like, my does hero. He, does he got room for another kid? I know. I ask every good dad that, though. <laughs> you need to follow Bunker the Golf Dog. He's just, uh, according to the bio, a big old dog loving the golfing life. And he just follows his human around. His human is my dad. And they Can we talk about the handle? Image. Bunker underscore the underscore golf underscore dog. Heck yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. And by the way, this is not just like, oh, let's get Erica's dad. This dude's got like 3,000 followers. Yeah, this is like a legit Instagram account that this dude is like pumping out content. It's the real deal. It's like so real. worth the follow. If you've ever wondered like, what would it be like to take my dog golfing, then boy, do we have a treat for you. <laughs> Cutie. He'll follow you back, he'll watch all your stories, and he'll comment in only emojis. This is a true follow for a follow. Yeah. Truly. If you guys could count on a comment on his most recent post, we love Erica, then I think that would be absolutely amazing. Go, wow. go find that and make that comment. Erica with a K. <laughs> Look at the way he escapes this sand trap with the greatest of ease. <laughs>
Oh, oh sometimes he's this. just showing off. He doesn't <laughs> even have the dog in this. He's getting out of that bunker. It's Bro, an excuse is he for him to brag about his golfing. Is he setting up like a tripod and like got his little phone out there? I assume this is terrifying. He has a production company that just follows him around. I don't know. Are you guys down to rate that sandwich really quickly? You better believe it. Out of five, states of Maine. Really How many states like of Maine? Sidewalk. This is gonna... He's just walking. Uh, this is the second time this has happened to us and it always makes me feel uncomfortable. You mean the second time today? <clears throat> How are ya? <laughs> you made that weird. <laughs> I think I want to give it like a four. Four oh, states of Maine? Yeah! That's good. That's good. Isn't it feel positive? Your positivity. Yeah, yeah that's it's right. really good. That's right. Corey, what do you give it out of five states of Maine? All right, so here's the thing. The fried chicken was amazing. Mm -hmm. Avocado on that sandwich, bro. Money move. <laughs> um, I will say I prefer not to have Kraft single slices. I do too. I it was prefer a little... not to have the Kraft single slices. Right. But other than that, and even then, at least they melted it. I hate when you go to McDo like get a McDoob and it, it's just like all flat and cold on there. Yeah. These were nice and melted. Right. So uh, I'm actually gonna go a little bit above you because I like the sauce a lot too. 4.25 in my oh, book. That's a great score. That's a good fried chicken oh. sandwich. Avocado and fried chicken, I'm doing that all day for Nice now. job, Big Jerry. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> just, all right, um, I think that I'm gonna go above both of you. What? I thought that was fantastic. My only thing was the cheese. That was my like, yeah. why are you using like a really melty good yeah, cheese? Yeah, melty is uh, Why use, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's still a great sandwich, Jerry. Mm -hmm. It. I'm gonna give it a 4.5. Wow! I'm a burp when I yell <laughs> Erica, before we get out of here, yeah. um, obviously all the links for you are below to follow you and people can stalk you for the rest of time. Please do. But as you're kind of exiting Chicago for like a month and a half and you're gonna be in another place, mm -hmm. and obviously coming back, what is it about the Chicago kind of comedy and acting community that you really enjoy so much? Like, let's leave these people with understanding why right this there. community is okay, so solid. Right. And, and right. we're all here for a reason, you know? Yeah. There's a lot of places that we can do what we do in this world. Tell the people what you like about Chicago. I love Chicago because it has like a really cool community vibe to it. And I feel like there's a good combination of people here in the comedy scene especially who are like, we're trying to be professionals but we also just want to have fun and we're also just trying to like be our best selves and it's like a good balance and it, it never feels, for the most part, too competitive. It's yeah. very much like we're just here to have fun, like let's get weird, let's have a good time. Everyone's very supportive. Yeah, that's the true you know? great answer. That's the true that's great. great answer. And that's, I mean, we couldn't agree with that more. We talk, we preach that a lot. So. Yeah. It's fun to have you in here and Thank say that. Thank you guys that. for having Thank me. Thank you so much for eating so sandwiches. On a 90 degree day in Chicago. Yeah. a free sandwich. Yeah. yeah. You were worried you were gonna have to pay? Uh-huh, I was like. <laughs> Tax right off. I was like, oh no, I'm not in the spot to buy What like if we just like Venmo right right requested you in three <laughs> days? I truly <laughs> would like. <laughs> Just and we, but we request her for the all three of them. Fifty bucks. We're like, we figured we put Jan here, so, <laughs> so the least you, did. Well, yeah. you didn't want those four new Twitter followers. <laughs> uh, uh, Erica, thank you so much for being on the show. No, thank you. And um, Jerry's truly uh, great sandwiches. Excited to pop back in there and have a brew or something like that. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new episode of Number Six of Cheese. Go follow Erica on all the social medias and her journey to be the comedy god that I know she is. Erica, thank you. Thank you. Erica, would you mind smacking the lens for me? Smacking Smack it? Smack it. Erica, thank you so much for doing the show. You're amazing. We love you.